Welcome to this webinar, part one of this, the webinar set on first steps with Transit Next. This recording shall accompany you while taking first steps with Transit Next, Professional and Transit Next Freelance Pro. Please be aware of the fact that Transit Next Freelance Pro has some restrictions compared to Transit Next Professional. This webinar will cover functionalities which are available in both versions. This is part one of a set of four webinars. In this webinar, part one of four, you will see first steps on the meaning of role dialogue, the meaning of the project selection dialogue, and the structure of the user interface. Let's start transit. This is the select user role dialogue. This is the first dialogue you will encounter right after the startup of transit. This role concept provides a range of 12 standard roles according to your needs, according to the task you need to do. Since I want to give you an all over, all over walkthrough over a lot of functionalities, I select the role of super user. The next dialogue you encounter is the project selection dialogue. In transit, all the translation work is organized in project. If we want to process this file in transit, we prepare a project for it. For now, we just want to focus on the user interface. That's why we do not select any project. I click on Cancel. The user interface is divided into several parts. All the way on top, we see the ribbon. We designed the ribbon to arrange the functionalities according to the task I need to do. For example, all the options which have to do with project, you will find in the project tab. All the way at the bottom, here, you will see the resource bar. Here, we get quick access to all the key benefits and technologies of transit via the resource buttons, like everything which might to do with reference material is found here, or everything concerning dictionaries. And all the file formats, which are supported by Transit Next, can be found here. Please note that, that some of the file types shown here do not belong to the standard range. They are available optionally. All around the center, like here and here, are elements of the toolbar. We also tend to talk about the supporting elements since they will support us in our work in the transit editor. These three elements are docked, meaning pinned at a fixed position. You see this here in the pin needle. The other elements here are designed to float in and out just on demand when they are needed. This leaves lots of room for doing the translation, and we can call up information if we need it. All elements of the toolbar can be docked at the fixed position or be designed for floating in and out, and they can even be placed on a second screen. All the window, the window set you see here belongs to the role super user. All 
roles can be changed, or you can even define your own user role deter by determining your own user role name and the window set if you want to change that. How to do this, you will find in the user's guide. This was the webinar part one. If you have further questions, please turn to this email address. And thank you for listening to this part one.